<laughs> we got Otis when he was two months old. We fell in love with him right away because he was just this adorable little furball. He's very playful, he loves other dogs. He recently realized that squirrels exist and bunnies exist and that has completely revolutionized his world. It was probably uh, when he was around a year that I started thinking about training him to be a therapy dog. We have been seeing patients at Boston Medical Center and it has been an incredible experience. It just popped into my mind as something that I could do with Otis, given that his temperament is so loving and so calm. As a medical student, like the highlight of my day often was running into the other therapy dogs here on campus. They just bring a lot of love and a lot of joy and kind of, I think, oftentimes remind patients of life outside of the hospital too. I think that we all go into medicine wanting to relieve suffering and wanting to sit with patients when they're experiencing some of their lowest lows, but it, you don't always get the chance to do that as a medical student or as a provider because of the constraints of your day. So having this opportunity now and having that extra time that I get to spend with patients and get to spend with Otis is really, that's really awesome. Something that's become important to me is bringing therapy to students. Without a doubt, medical school is stressful and the road after medical school is stressful as well. At least for me personally, there's this fear that you're not gonna be a good enough doctor, you're not gonna rise to the occasion. And there are all these studies that show that interacting with therapy animals of any sort really lowers heart rate, lowers blood pressure. There are real physical, tangible impacts that these therapy programs have. And so it's really quite mind boggling that I, as a random third year medical student um, with a dog who just happens to be sweet and loving can have this impact. 95% of his life is spent just being a regular dog. He, he like jumps on the couch when he's not always supposed to and he, he loves to play fetch and all those things. So he has a pretty normal life for the most part. But I will say our bond is much deeper. 